In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use Beaver Builder to white label our plugin and theme. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to download the Beaver Builder agency version of the plugin, which is listed below here. So I'm going to simply click this link and download it. The other thing I want to download is the Beaver Builder theme, which is available to you if you purchase the agency package. So we're going to go ahead and click on that as well. And we do have available to you the Beaver Builder child theme, but I'm going to show you how you can create your own child theme uh, with the white label version in this video. So we're not going to do that at this time. So now that we have these things downloaded, let's go visit our WordPress dashboard. Okay, you see I have a fresh WordPress installation and we're gonna go ahead and download the Beaver Builder plugin. So in order to get there, you need to go down to the left-hand side where you say plugins and go and click add new. Go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file. From here, you're going to select the Beaver Builder plugin agency zip file. So go ahead and select that and click open and then install now. All right, once it's successfully installed, go ahead and click activate plugin. And from here, it's important to go ahead and add your license key. So we're gonna go back to your accounts page and go ahead and copy your license key. And then we're going to go back here and go to the second tab says license. Click on that, click enter license key, and then paste it. Go ahead and click save license key. All right, now we've installed the plugin, we're going to need to install the Beaver Builder theme. To install the theme, you want to go over to the left hand menu over appearance, and you'll see in the sub menu themes. Go ahead and click on that. And then next you wanna click add new. You can either use the button at the top or this large button on the right hand side. Go ahead and click add new theme. And once you get to this page, go ahead and click upload theme, choose file, and then you're gonna select the Beaver Builder theme. Go ahead and click open. And same thing, click install now. And then once it's successfully installed, go ahead and click activate. All right, so we have the Beaver Builder theme installed. The next step we wanna do is go ahead to white label all of these. So you see right now, Beaver Builder theme is here. If you go to the theme details, it's called the Beaver Builder theme by the Beaver Builder team. So you can have the ability to customize this to your own agency information. So that's what we're gonna do next. Go ahead and go down to the left-hand menu and go to settings where it says Beaver Builder. Click on that. Next, you wanna go to the link that says branding. Go ahead and click on that. So I mentioned that you can change the theme name. I'm gonna just call this the Awesome Agency. And then you can type any kind of theme description and then go ahead and fill in your company name. And then if you have a website, go ahead and put that here. All right, so the next thing you need is to upload your theme screenshot. We're gonna go ahead and come back to this page. Go ahead and click Save Branding. And we're gonna go to your media folder on your left-hand side and go ahead and click Media. And go ahead and click Add New. From here, you can drag and drop your image file or click Select Files. Okay, you can see that I created this thumbnail and the dimensions are 880 by 660 pixels. The next you wanna do is on the right-hand side, you'll see there's a link available to you. Go ahead and select that link and copy it. And we're gonna go back to the branding section of the page builder. So we're gonna close out of this, go back to settings, go down to Beaver Builder and select branding again. From here, you wanna go ahead and paste that theme screenshot URL here. And at this time, I'm going to make my plugin icon URL the same. Now you can have a different one if you like, 
but for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and make my theme and plugin thumbnail the same. I'm also going to rename my plugin as the Awesome Builder. Now go ahead and click Save Branding. Okay, now you'll notice some things have changed. The very first thing you'll notice on the top left is my thumbnail has been uploaded here. And what used to say Beaver Builder Settings now says Awesome Builder Settings. And also anywhere that it indicates Beaver Builder has also been changed to Awesome Builder. So this notification on the left-hand menu, what used to say Beaver Builder right here, now says Awesome Builder. And on the left-hand side where it used to say Beaver Builder, it only says Builder. If I hover to my plugin section, you'll notice that then my name has also changed here, Awesome Builder. And now when we go to the theme section, you'll notice that the theme thumbnail has also changed with my agency white label theme name here. Even when I click on theme details, you'll notice that my name that I changed is now Awesome Agency Theme by the Awesome Agency and the link that you have created for yourself. Next, I wanna show you how you can create a custom child theme very easily. So our good friends over at PowerPack Beaver Add-ons created this Beaver Builder child theme generator, which is amazing. It's very easy for you to create one and upload it to your site. So if you just Google Beaver Builder child theme generator, you should be able to find this page. From here, all you need to do is enter your information. So the child theme, I'm gonna call it the awesome agency child theme, the author, and then same like before, go ahead and enter your information. Once you're complete, go ahead and click download. All right, so we're gonna go through the same process to upload your child theme. I'm gonna go ahead and click add new theme, upload theme at the very top, click choose file, and go ahead and select the child theme. And install now, and click activate. Okay, now we've uploaded the agency child theme but there's one more detail that needs to be changed. If you click over the theme details, you'll notice that everything has changed except for the description, which still says Beaver Builder. In order to change that, we're gonna to go to the left-hand side and go down to Theme Editor. Go ahead and click on that. And there's gonna be a warning notification. Just go ahead and click I understand. And from here, you're gonna see the ability to edit your style sheet of the child theme. And you're gonna see a section called description. This is where you can edit your description. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to child theme for awesome builder. And then click update file. Now when we go back to the theme, you'll see that description has also been updated. Okay, that wraps up our video. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to white label using Beaver Builder. Take care.